Hi. So, I'm trying to work my phone much better. Hi, it's Ashley with Ashley's Gastro Bypass Journey. So, I haven't made a video in a while. Yeah, a very long time. So, let's just get into it. So, <clears throat> from the surgery standpoint, I am so blessed to have it. I love it. Um, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at because of the surgery. Um, the downfall for me of the surgery is it was emotional, very emotional, not as healing as healing. It was okay. It took me a while to heal. Some people would take two weeks. Some people would take a little bit longer for me. It took me about three months to heal. Um, in my abdominal area, it was really hard for me to pick up my child and I'm a CNA. So I couldn't go back straight back to work for a while. I didn't actually end up going back into work until like the be end of September, the beginning of October. That's when I started to work again. Um, <clears throat> that's when I felt a hundred percent to push and roll my patients. You know, that's what we got to do when we are eights. Anyway, and the emotional part for me, the emotional part for me was losing the older person the bigger girl that's why i call her the big girl um i hope i don't fit anybody when i say that that's just for me personally i don't have no problem by saying that losing her losing her identity and i love that love that person i was in that body for so long you just don't know how much you are so attached to your weight and how your weight is attached to you um changing my face changing getting smaller my nose getting smaller my hands the extra skin like the extra skin under your arms getting smaller you know what i mean um fitting in different clothes and some clothes will fit and some clothes won't fit because it depends on the cut of the clothes so that was really hard for me i'm um, even even in my marriage, it was kind of hard. Um, I, my biggest fear was that my husband would in love, would love, wouldn't love the, would love the new person more than they loved the older person, and I didn't want that. And it took a very long time for me to believe that my husband just loved me. You know, and I think it's so funny when you get this surgery about <clears throat> when you get it done that. As gastro bypass patients, we separate the two of of the people, the newer you and then the older you. And I had to go back in my head and say, wait, we're still the same person. I'm just smaller, you know, and people looking at you different and even yourself feeling different. Like, whoa, you want to look more in the mirror like, hey, I didn't know I could really look like that. Um, the hard thing for me was also finding out what i could eat you know what i mean um i'm i just finally can eat a salad i can finally eat a little bit more than i used to um instead of just eating the meat and the protein i can really do that i can eat more um and i like that and that's really good i eat the salads and i eat my protein and um you know, I really try to stay, I still stay away from the junk food and everything else. And believe me, you can get that down. It's really easy to get that down. So I really am food conscious. It's like, woo, you know, for me, it's like, I, if I put this in my body, how long is it going to take me to um, take it off? You know what I mean? Um, for So I really try to really pay attention to that. Um, what else? The reason why I stopped making videos, I meant to say this for a lot of people who are watching, I stopped right after my couple months, was I didn't have the drive or the passion for it. I just was like, I do not feel like doing this. I was still sad, like stuff weren't moving. Like I didn't see the pounds dropping fast enough for me. So I just got a little in the funk and just did for like making videos. And then I actually, the reason why I'm making this video now is a young girl just hit me up and left me a comment was like, oh, five weeks post off. And I was like, oh, look how old that video is. Like, I haven't made any videos in a while. It's been seven months and I have not made a video. Do not ask me how far along weekly that is. I really am not good at math, so I won't be able to tell you. Um... The one thing I would love to tell you about the surgery that I'm a confident person. 
nobody can tell me not to be confident. I'm I I am confident. I I am very very confident. I believe in myself. I look good then, and I know I look good now. But it brought more of my confidence out of me. It brought more of my passion and my creativity out of me. I go to work, and there's people who are heavy at work, and who are residents who are heavy. And I looked at them and said, oh my gosh, I am so glad that I had got this surgery done because that's where I was going. And I didn't want to go there. And so, you know, I was really, really happy that I ended up doing it. I think that was the turnaround for me because I was really in a slump. Like I was just really in a slump. A, I wasn't at work. And B, I was just being here as a, um, as as a mother and then going changes with my body like you know fat deposits still left on your body like I still have a lot of extra skin on my arms on my stomach it's starting to come out in my legs well I don't think it will ever come out of my legs I have real big thighs my family have crazy thighs so I don't know if that would ever change but you know learning that I can sit in a chair and put both of my legs up that was exciting for me so I had to figure that out um and everything else so that's what's been going on for the past couple months so I'm going to talk about sizes right now I'm in a 16 18 I am in a 14 I can get in a 14 certain clothes I can get in a 14 and I'm in an extra large shirt or a large shirt but an extra large pants if I want to wear them because I have booty I have lots of booty so uh <laughs> that still <laughs> didn't change either but um yeah so uh that's what I'm wearing right now at this time I'm actually from I got M250 215 214 so i'm doing good um i was hoping to crack 100 before my year anniversary that's because i don't really work out i i don't work out and I, if i would work out it would be so much better i just don't really have the time and i'm making an excuse because i really do need to work out um i'm thinking about picking up some workout videos and starting that again i really need to get on the ball of working out i'm really not working out right now so that's where we at. So let me talk about how I eat. All right. For me, I don't eat anything in the morning. It's some parent reason, I just don't have the urge to eat in the morning. That I have always been like that. I would really, really have to be hungry. Now, when I get hungry, it's right around dinner time. Um, now, about 12 o'clock, I will put something in my mouth and I'll go from 12 until 6 and, and that's it. That's all I will eat until dinner. And then I'll eat my dinner, then I'll go to bed. So for real honesty, truthfully, I eat twice a day. And that's really not good either. But I try to still do what I need to do. For a minute, I know I'm bouncing around. I could not process sugar. For a, for a minute, I still couldn't process sugar. I could process sugar a little bit for a little while. I could, I'm kind of missed. I know I couldn't drink the pop, so I stayed away from the pop. I missed the water. And all you could drink, for me, all I could drink was coffee and water. And that was it. And I wanted something sweet. So I used to drink brisk iced tea. Yesterday, I took a little cup. I mean, a small cup. Like a clear. Hold on, let me see if I have one. Ooh, did I get stuck to the chair? <laughs> I sure did. Let me see. I'm sorry if I'm a little dark. Because I don't have good lighting. Oh, I don't have no more Dixie cups. I think my daughter drunk them all. But anyway, so uh, for a minute, I could drink out of that little cup and be okay. Well, now I can't. I can't drink it at all. Um, I I can't drink the sugar. I can't do it. It's just too much. Hold on. I'm trying to get better lighting. So if y'all can see me much better. There we go. So, I'm sorry. That's going to be a little dark for a minute. So, I'm going to have to stand up. I'm going to do this in my bathroom. Um, so, yeah. No sugar. Period. Point blank. No sugar. The only sugar I could do is in my coffee. Don't ask me why. It's just for me. I only could do it in my coffee. So, um, that's about it. Oh, and another thing for women. This might be TMI. I did lose my hair. 
I lost my hair and it was from the anesthesia and I'm still I don't know if you can see like right here I still have some patches that are trying to grow in and on the side over here and like over here is still trying to grow in I just darkened my hair because when my hair was um a little bit darker you can see the patches so what I did was for me um I start noticing it after I had the surgery like it was a month after I could start feeling it coming out in my hair so what I heard was from the anesthesia and it still is trying to grow back in it now it's still trying to grow back in and it's been seven months so I cut my hair off I, I I'm I like short hair anyway so I just cut my hair off and so that's what I did and um and did that and also notice too right now I start getting eczema and I haven't had eczema on my cheeks and on my on my chin since I've been a teenager so I'm thinking that's gets it doing because of my body and tell me why my face looks so swollen on the camera and actually looking at my face in the mirror it, uh, it looked like I like 10 pounds see how totally different it is from there I, I don't understand so <clears throat> anyway this shirt is a 3x shirt so it's like really big um I do not like wearing things that are too too um loose it irritates my skin um uh, it's like so weird I think I need to go see a dermatologist it irritates my skin uh, there was another thing else I want to talk about TMI for women periods my period is wonky my period was finally regular it was on point now it's wonky like a couple months i would go really light next month i mean super super heavy or it'll be late and it, my period it's never been wet late so i've been taking pregnancy tests like it's been water and all of them came back negative because of my birth control what i have in my arm and it's called the nimron i have in my arm or next brawn i have um but yeah it's just it's crazy so i'm gonna try to do a frontal shot i don't know how this is gonna work but i will figure it out so let's see if i could do it this way so it's lighting i need better lighting some more lighting in here. Hold on one second. So, this is how I look. I ain't going to talk it up. So, as you can see, I still have my scars, but this is the extra skin that I have for my stomach as you can see extra skin it's just nothing but flat but this is how I look and everything as you can see this shirt is really um big hold on let me pause it and see if I can so this is much better so this is how I look. As you can see, I still I have a lot of extra skin here. Yeah. And a little extra skin here. But this is how I look. So on the camera, it looks a little bigger. I think I might take a picture and try to put it into the thing to really show y'all how I look. Um, but yeah. Um, my bra size did not drop. They're still the same. And derriere is starting to drop, so still the same. But yeah, it feels good to be in a teen size. So like you would think 16, 18, it feels good to be in that. So, but I wanted to let you know, this is Ashley's Daily Balk. Oh, Ashley's Gaster Bypass Journey. And hopefully we'll see you again and I'll talk to y'all. Have a blessed day. Bye.